Once a wise man said, One can't be successful only with his or her hard work and efforts. It's also the sacrifices of his or her friends and family which help them to climb up the ladders of success. The significance of being grateful to your people is something that many individuals realize when it appears to be too late. However, if there is one man who could lead by an example of being thankful to everyone, it's none other than a South African cricket legend, Abraham Benjamin de Villiers popularly referred to as A.B. de Villiers. The man has always been known to be very grateful and humble to all the people who have had a role to play in shaping up his cricketing career, right from his parents to some of his sports seniors. However, in all of this, there was this one particular human who had the most influential role to play in A.B.D.'s life. It was Francois Geldenius commonly referred to as French by ABD. He was captain of the North Transvaal team in a local inter-school tournament back in 2000. AB was in that team and the coach had put him down to bat at number 7. One day, the French requested the coach to give AB a chance to open the innings. The coach agreed, even if somewhat reluctant. AB grabbed the opportunity with both hands and scored a century. That 100 resulted in AB getting picked in the South Africa Colts team. And he then got picked for the South Africa Schools team a year later. And so, would AB have made that kind of progress had French not spoken up? What might have happened had AB been left to languish down the order? Probably, we would have never got to know that. However, this story does teach us to always be humble, grateful and when given the opportunity, to always take a leap for that deserving individual around you. Born February 17, 1984, Abraham Benjamin de Villiers was raised in a small town named Wombat where he learned to play cricket among other sports that he used to play with his older siblings, brothers Jan and Wessels. He went to Afrikaans Horacean School, where future teammate Jacques Rudolph was a senior. It was during this time here that he developed interest and greatness, not only in academics, but in a variety of sports including rugby, cricket, swimming, volleyball and so on. He even went on to represent his school in different sports at different levels. Being good in more than one sport, A.B. could have made a career in any of them. However, cricket chose him when he was a mere eight-year-old. A.B.'s passion and hard work saw him get into the South African schools 11. Here, he was spotted by the Titans coach Dave Nosworthy, who gave him an opportunity to play for them against Canada in a 2003 World Cup warm-up game. It was the first time that AB played a televised game. The same year, he performed exceptionally well for the South African under-19 team in England. The national call-up was just a matter of time now. AB made his test debut at 20 in 2004 against England. AB reached the 1,000-run mark in test cricket quickly, becoming the second youngest and second fastest South African to reach the milestone after Graham Paul. On the other hand, his ODI debut happened a fortnight ahead of his 21st birthday in a tied game against the same opposition. His contribution in the match was 20 runs while opening the innings, a run out of England captain Michael Walton and a catch to dismiss Paul Collier. From that day, ABD never looked behind and went on to achieve over 20,000 runs across formats in international cricket including 47 centuries and 109 half centuries. His record in the overall T20s, List A cricket and First Class cricket is also staggering. While de Villiers was a force to reckon with ever since his international debut, his best was unleashed in late 2010. It seemed like the cricketer had got his hands over a magic wand as he piled up a plethora of runs. The same earned him the captaincy of the national team after Graham Smith stepped down. There are lots of exceptional records at the name of ABD, 
out of which some are as follows. Smashing the fastest 50, 100 and 150 in ODI cricket, getting the feet in 16, 31 and 64 deliveries respectively. Devilia's tally of 20,014 international runs is the second highest for any South African player. Jacques Callis tops this list with 25,534 runs. The former Proteus captain is one among the nine batters to smash three consecutive ODI centuries. Devilia's averages 63.52 in 50 over World Cups, most among batters who played at at least 20 matches in the Gala tournament. The legend jointly holds the record of hitting second most centuries, 16, in an ODI innings. He shares the field with Chris Gale and Rich. There are many fantastic records to be had. But we should not forget that they were all achieved at the expense of controversies surrounding ABD at some point in his professional career. ABD's choice to replace Kyle Abbott with Vernon Philando to the point when Lindez was caught up in the social media tempest were all examples of controversies that didn't appear to spare the well-known flawless calls on Alongside international cricket, Devilliers also made a significant mark in several T20 years, particularly in the Indian Premier League. Devilliers last played for Royal Challengers in the 2021 year, where he scored 313 runs in 15 matches. While he continued to play in T20 leagues around the world at the BBL, the PSL, the Vitality Blast, the BPL and the MSL back home, Following his international retirement, he played the most in the IP. Since the beginning his association with the franchise in 2011, De Villiers played 157 matches for them and scored 4,522 runs at a strike rate of 158.33. He is also the franchise's second highest run scorer of all time behind Virat Kohli. As we have seen ABD praise India in his interviews, it's because of how fans have showered love whenever he plays in the IP or against India and India. Also, at the time of his final retirement announcement, he had also made a video specially just for the Indian fans and more specifically for the RCB lovers across the globe. While the talismanic cricketer shockingly bidded you to international cricket in 2018, he announced retirement from all forms of professional cricket three years later. To this date, Villiers has represented the Proteus in 114 tests, 220 ODIs, and 78 T20s during his 17 year long international career. ABD was known as Mr. 360 as he seemed to have had a shot for all types of women that the great players possessed. Right from net practices to actual ground play, De Villiers never showed a lack of dedication, whether it was in batting or field. ABD shows us that just as the concentrated rays of sun can burn paper by a microscope, our ambitions, when concentrated via our mind, can fulfill the dream of the Be it a fan of a team or any other franchise except for our city, but when a brand Benjamin De Villiers was in full flow, everyone, be it silently in their hearts or by screaming ABD in stadium, would want to see him bat more and more. That's the kind of impact ABD has and will continue to have irrespective of his retirement on cricket fans across the globe. Do let us know your favourite ABD moment and we will try and pick five of the best moments and come up with a video on it soon.